In this video, we shall deep dive into Inforever's advanced write-back capabilities and the use cases it enables such as data input templates, what-if simulations, forecasting, budgeting, scenarios, collaborative commenting, audit, and more. We will walk you through the complete workflow by going through the following three steps. In step one, we will create a report. In step two, we will enrich the report. Enriching is the process of making changes to the report which supports use cases such as planning, forecasting, what-if simulations, and budgeting. In our case, we will add additional fields to our sales report to capture sales forecast and enter sell level and row level comments. Finally, in step three, we will write the forecast back to a destination. The product supports multiple destinations including Fabric Data Lake House, Data Warehouse, and Dataverse. File destinations such as OneDrive and SharePoint are also supported. Note that InfoRiver supports a variety of both cloud and on-premise destinations that reside inside your private network. First, let's load the InfoRiver visual onto a blank Power BI report canvas. It's important to note that InfoRiver seamlessly operates across Power BI Desktop, Power BI Service, and Power BI Report Server. Let us now add our dimensions and measures. We are assigning store country and product category in the rows and a time dimension featuring year and quarter in the columns and revenue as the measure. Once the report is ready, we can set up right back destinations. The administrator can decide whether to allow users to configure their own right back destinations or restrict them to use only the destinations shared by the administrator. We are creating two destinations for our report. Note that InfraRiver can write to multiple destinations at once. Coming back to our report, we have 2023 revenue by quarter listed by country and category. Let us create a new field to capture forecast for 2024, and we will name it FC 2024. Note that the fields that you add can appear within each quarter, pretty much like a measure, or you can add a field outside any column hierarchy at the end of the report. You can also specify aggregation settings and acceptable min or max thresholds for the values entered. In addition, you can decide if users accessing the report in reading view should be able to enter forecasts. You can also restrict data entry to specific rows using a formula, for example, where country is Australia and Q4 sales is greater than $2 million. You also have the option to selectively authorize users in your organization for entering forecasts. Let us also add a text field to our report where users can enter an explanation. For text fields, you can enforce specific validations such as numeric, non-numeric, alphanumeric, email, URL, custom string validation, or validation based on the length of the text, all without writing any code. InfraRiver supports single select and multi-select drop-down lists of values. The lists can be created in different ways. You can create it manually by typing the choices you want to see in the drop-down list, or choose from a variety of preset list of values already available. You may also link your drop-down list to a data input field from another InfraRiver visual. Finally, you also have the option to pick up values for your drop-down field directly from a Power BI dataset. This would fetch unique values for that category from a specified table in your dataset. Let us also add a checkbox column to our report. A sales manager may use a drop-down or a checkbox field to indicate whether she has approved the forecast entered by the sales reps. We will also add a date field to our report that the team can use to assign due dates for any tasks mentioned in the explanation field. We will also add a field of type person where we can assign owners for tasks. This is made possible because InfraRiver is a cloud-native solution that leverages Azure Active Directory to pull the list of associates from your Office 365 directory. This integration also allows users to collaborate and input comments, provide approvals, assign tasks, schedule reports, and receive notifications. While we have updated the template with fields where users can enter data manually, we can also insert fields that are calculated using a formula. We can create variances for each quarter, or in our case, we will add a formula at the end of the table which uses InfoRiver's inbuilt time intelligence functions. 
For example, this last column will show the total revenue for the last two quarters available in the dataset. Looking at our report, you will notice we have created a new measure to capture the 2024 forecast, but unfortunately it is appearing below the year category 2023. I would prefer to have it separately under the year category 2024, but unfortunately my data model does not include time periods for 2024 yet. So, what do I do? Well, in Forever's Time Intelligence Engine allows you to virtually extend your time periods into the future. You will notice that I have updated the template to show the four quarters of 2024 separately. As you roll into 2024, the future periods will start becoming available in your data model. When each quarter closes, you also have the option to update your forecast automatically with the actual revenue for the closed quarter. This ensures that your full year forecast for 2024 always stays accurate. Features like these that deliver reporting and planning in one platform help you avoid expansive ETL processes to transport actual data to other planning software applications. Managing the entire workflow in a single place avoids data silos, duplication of data, and eliminates Excel-based data collection. Now let me publish this report and access this report in the reading view. Before I access the reading view, note that InfraRiver reinforces security at three levels. At the bottom, it fundamentally adheres to security protocols defined at the workspace level and at the data level, such as row-level security. On top of it, the administrator can decide whether to allow all users to configure destinations and whether features can be turned on in reading view for all users. Finally, above all this, you can also restrict access to specific users for entering data, inserting comments, or creating scenarios. Going to the reading view, I am now entering company level forecast for 2024 and allocating it across categories and quarters by weights of prior period performance. I can also lock specific cells so that these are protected from any distributions or allocations. I can also apply other distribution methods, such as selecting a specific value and applying a trend along the rows or columns as it suits my need. Alternatively, I can also edit values directly in a cell. Now that I have entered the forecast, let me update additional fields as well. Observe how InfraRiver supports a wide variety of data types using an intuitive, no-code, Excel-like user experience. When it comes to collaborative commenting, InfraRiver sets the bar high. Users can enter comments at the cell, subtotal, grand total, row, and column levels. Tagging colleagues and assigning tasks is a breeze. Once a task is assigned, InfraRiver takes care of the rest by automatically sending email notifications. Responding to a user's comments initiates a threaded conversation facilitating a dialogue at each cell level. Threaded conversations opens up exciting possibilities for a streamlined communication and efficient collaboration right within Power BI. Every modification made to the InfraRiver report is meticulously recorded in our comprehensive audit log. The InfraRiver audit log captures the specifics of each change, including what modifications were made, when these changes were made, and who made them. You can also filter audit log using various parameters to facilitate a closer inspection. Now that we have created a forecast, let us write this data back to our destinations. To do this, click on right back from the top menu. In our case, we have persisted the forecast to three destinations simultaneously. Let us now take a closer look at multiple settings available for writing back data. InfraRiver offers versatility by supporting three write back formats, a tidy long format where measures are captured in rows, a measure on columns format where each measure is captured in a separate column, and write back with change log format which uses a comprehensive table structure that keeps track of changes to values by using dedicated columns that capture old and new values. InfraRiver allows you to apply dynamic filters to your table so that you can write back select records that match your filter criteria. If you have a need to write back both IDs and values for categories, InfraRiver allows a smart column mapping feature that will fetch your IDs from the data model and add them to the write back table in a separate column. InfraRiver write back comes with its own security settings that restrict access to users performing the write back. 
Inforver's webhook is a powerful feature that triggers an HTTP endpoint configured outside Power BI. Common use cases of Inforiver webhook include triggering Power Automate workflows that would execute dataset refresh or a stored procedure in a database, or post adaptive cards and messages in Microsoft Teams. Inforiver also supports automatic write back, similar to the autosave feature in Microsoft Office applications. When this is turned on, any change to a cell is automatically written back to your destination. To ensure data integrity, Inforiver conducts null validation checks during write back, issuing warnings or preventing users from proceeding if conditions are not met. This robust validation mechanism adds an extra layer of confidence to your write back processes. Let us take a quick look at the data that we just wrote to the Snowflake database. In addition to the data being written back, Inforiver also captures the user that is performing the write back along with the timestamp. Users may load this write back table back into their Power BI data model using composite modeling to enhance their reporting. Inforiver also allows you to create scenarios. Scenarios allow you to visualize multiple versions of the future. Each scenario is added as a tab within Inforiver. You may make a set of changes to a specific scenario and selectively write back scenarios. Another valuable feature is the snapshot, which captures a read-only copy of the matrix. This is especially useful for tracking how our reports or forecasts have evolved over a period of time. Inforiver offers a quick way to compare different snapshots along with auto-calculated variances. You can also schedule snapshots, where forecast numbers are automatically captured and saved at the end of each week or month. Inforiver offers report subscriptions, facilitating the bulk delivery of fully formatted and paginated reports in both PDF and Excel formats at user-defined frequencies. In terms of availability and deployment, Inforiver Enterprise is available in two versions, a SaaS edition managed by us and a private tenant edition that is managed by you. The architecture for Inforiver Enterprise is shown here. It comprises of a front end for user data entry, a middleware to handle jobs like write back and subscriptions, and the write back destinations for storing the write back data. The key distinction lies in the hosting and management of the middleware. In the SaaS version, Lomel's Azure tenant hosted in the US region manages it, while the on-prem version deploys the middleware within your private Azure tenant, providing you with complete security and control over Inforiver. The private tenant deployment option eliminates any IT concerns over data security, data residency, and data privacy needs, as the entire solution will reside within your isolated network. It's important to note that Inforiver can be deployed within your private AWS environment as well. In conclusion, Inforiver offers the most comprehensive write-back solution that seamlessly integrates advanced functionalities such as versatile data input, robust write-back capabilities, and sophisticated scenario simulations. This makes it a powerful asset for businesses seeking Excel-like data input, planning, forecasting, commentary capture, and analysis within the Power BI ecosystem. For more information, including a free Inforiver trial setup, please visit inforiver.com.